All right. Hi, everyone. Today we're talking to Gomdas, and um, I think um, I'll just let him introduce himself, and we we'll ask the questions later on. So, hi, Gomdas. Uh, hi, Asha. Thank you for uh, having me today. Um, hi, hello, everyone. My name is Gomdas. Uh, currently, I'm living in Armenia. Uh, I came from Canada. Uh, we've been living here for 16, 17 years already. Um, my so I did my bachelor's here in management. After seeing my father, he's he's a, a big role model of mine. Uh, he he specializes in management, uh, business management, and uh, with that, I, uh, I I took his footsteps. And um, he he didn't force me anything. Uh, one of the things that is that he let me choose my own career path. And of, of course, I'm very thankful for that. Um, so I chose to do management and I'm very happy with it. Um, just in general, business and management is I, 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 uh, I, thought, I saw that that's my um, click for me. And uh, so I did my bachelor's here uh, in um, European University of Armenia. That's what it's called. It was all in English, which, which was great. So four years I did bachelor's and then after finishing, I decided to do to do my master's. And this is where um, um, my the cross uh, the paths crosses to where I should choose to do my uh, master's, because one of the key things for me was that I wanted to go abroad. Um, Armenia right now is a developing country is not a developed country. And one of my goals was to uh, go outside and gain experience a uh, solid experience outside uh, from abroad and uh bring it to my home country here with my gain experience one of the things that um armenia is lacking is uh, uh, uh is uh, uh management skills from outside from abroad and uh, one of my key goals is to do that and bring that here to my home co home country so, um, yeah, should I, call, should, I, should I talk about IE? Uh, should, is it? Uh... I mean, we're okay. I mean, you can uh, talk about IE. Okay. So, um, I'm going to be completely honest, open book, no problem. Um, uh, and one of the things that I'm, I would like to is that I want this experience for you guys to learn from my experience because, you know, failures in life is is a solid experience i'm actually happy i like failing in life because when you fail you learn a lot so i applied to ie after my bachelor's i applied to ie business school in madrid uh i came in about two months late to the classes i was doing online over here and then i came in two months late and that kind of impacted my um uh, learning experience in ie um it was not very easy doing online masters uh, because everybody was already there you know doing their masters face to face and i was the one pretty much the only one doing online and um i didn't get the chance to uh, meet with people connect with people you know when i came to madrid two months late already uh, the students were already you know being friends together they were making their groups and i was kind of lacking behind and it was kind of awkward to uh to for them to be friends with me it was just it's just an awkward situation it just didn't uh work out very well um uh and it was a, it was very overwhelming for me because coming two months late i had to catch up to a lot of things and it became overwhelming and um unfortunately i got fail uh, in in a class twice so i got i got a fail once i retook the exam and then i got another fail from that exam and uh, for IE, that is an auto automatic expulsion. So, I got expelled. Uh, I got out of. I got out of uh, from my masters. Of course, um, that was a huge experience. That was. Uh, um, I felt very bad, very down. Um, but, so what happened was, I focused my energy into um, not giving up. Right. We, we always listen to "Don't give up, don't give up." Right, and that's very true. Never give up. It's true. So what happened was an hour later after getting expel expelled, I was in my apartment with my wife and I called to my father, you know, I had to tell him the, the, the truth, you know, I had to tell him what happened and I called him and, and he, he showed me another path. He showed me a path to take. He told me, Gomidas, apply for another university and just clicked for me, you know, it clicked. And I said, wait a minute, 
why am I being like this? I should just, you know, right now focus on applying to another university and don't waste time. So I got off, I called Hubert, I told him everything and he's like, okay, um, uh, look for a university who's what you like and I'll help you get into those, one of the universities. And it clicked to me, I said, wait a minute, I remember about HALT, uh, even before applying to IE, even knowing about IE, I, I, I remember um, studying about HALT and what HALT is and how international it is. And I told my father, this was years ago, while, while, while I was doing my bachelor's, I, I told my father, man, it would be so awesome to go into HALT. I love the culture and everything. So, uh, I, and so I'm in Madrid, I'm, 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 I'm expelled from my master's and um, in about two hours time, I applied to HALT at that time in my apartment. And uh, thankfully, actually, so after applying uh, to HALT, um, thankfully, thank you for Hubert. Hubert helped me tons. I mean, his support is amazing for me. Um, Hubert contacted uh, some people from HALT and uh, we got a, we, we did a, uh, he did a, um, um, a schedule for me to have an interview. Um, so thankfully, uh, HALT had a uh, admissions uh, from one of the admissions team uh, um, was in hall in Madrid from hall they had an office so uh, about a couple of days later I went I did my interview it took about a, an hour an hour uh, of interview and it went it went pretty well and about two three weeks later I got accepted and it was pretty much the happiest day of my life you know from all those experience you know going down and then up this is this is what life is right so yeah. Right now, I'm a proud member of HALT International Business School. Uh, they have multiple locations around the world, San Francisco, Boston, Dubai, uh, Shanghai, and London. Uh, the London is the one I applied to. So um, I'm very, very happy that I'm right now a, a, a proud member of HALT family. I'm going to do my Master in International Business, MIB, um, starting September 20th. Uh, so right now I'm in Armenia right now. I'm in Armenia. Um, so in Madrid, after getting expelled about a month later, we moved back to Armenia. So now I'm, I'm on, I'm in Armenia and we're doing our visa processes for me and my wife to, uh, to go to London. Go to London. That's, that's pretty much my, um, you know, experience. The IE stories. The, yes, the <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but I've, I mean, people can read more about it on the blog when it goes up. Um, so um, since, I mean, this is pretty much the question that I'm uh, very curious about. With so many master's programs out there, um, people choosing MBA, MIM, you chose MIB. And why is that? So um, one of the things I understood while while doing, um, while I was in uh, Madrid for doing my um I did MIM in, in, in Madrid, in IE Business okay, School. I okay. did MIM, Master in Management. Um, I, I understood that it kind of is not what I'm looking for as well. It just didn't, you know, um, whatever happened in Madrid and IE and me getting expelled, it was um, it was kind of good for me. I understood that that was the thing that had to happen for me. And um, so I focused on getting into MIB, which is Master in International Business, which I'm, I'm pretty much more uh, interested in uh, rather than just Master in Management. This is more international. I, I, I always like the fact that whenever, whenever I choose my career path, I like it when it's very broad. You know, there's, there's careers that are very narrow, right? Let's say, I don't know, a surgeon or, uh, or marketing. That's a very narrow, uh, pretty much a very narrow uh, field. Uh, one of one of what I what I like is pretty much broaden my field and um, under you know uh, have a more um, outside the box you could say experience with with my uh, career career path. So that's why I chose. I understood that MIB um, is more uh, it's more of my thing. What I like more. Um, that so yeah, that's why I chose MIB. All right. Okay. So. Um, um with the uh, with halt i mean are there any you know um inter i mean um, exchange programs or something that you plan to enroll in or i mean so, is that so halt that does way? have uh, an exchange uh, program they have um a program where uh let's say i do my uh, uh masters in london and then after about four or five months after i think four months uh, I can I can do I can continue my masters in, for instance, Shanghai. 
I can continue. Um, so what that is, what the, what that brings is, it gives you more uh, different experience, right? Different country, uh, culture, people. You know, uh, at the end of the day, it's not really about what you learn uh, from master's degree. It's what you take for yourself, and what that includes is making new connections, getting more experiences outside, see how other people, you know, work. The Chinese. Uh, the 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 people from the UK, US, you know, from Dubai, their business is very you know different, very broad. And uh, one of the things is the best things about Halt. What I love is very it's very international. It is. Um, so that's one of the things I really like about Halt. All right. So um, I mean, from my understanding, um, I mean, um, having an international course was important for you. So were there other factors also that you considered by while choosing Halt? Uh, of course, well, um, of course, uh, of course, the international, not only just business wise, but of course, the people wise, right? Because uh, you have people from all around around the world coming into this university. It's not just people from London or people from Shanghai. It's it's uh, the uh, international experience from other people. You you get connections from around the world, right? And you get experiences from around the world. That's one of the one of the things. And one of the things that Halt brings is. Uh, they uh, they also bring um, their their way of method teaching method is a little different. Uh, it is more um, um, how do you say it? It's more hands on. Um, you could say yeah, that's right. Hands on more not more book wise, but more hands on. We're gonna have some um, um, opportunities to work as well, which is very great. For instance, in London, uh, once we be there. I have the opportunity to work 20 hours um, uh, a week, which is which is a great thing. Um, for instance, when I went when I was in Madrid, there for my visa, the student visa, there was no opportunity to work at all. Uh, one of the things is that so you can you can you can you can work, you can gain experience from working, gain experience from the students from from halt, and all of this you know makes at the end of the year you will be you'll change in a in a more in a in a drastic way in my opinion. So. This all experiences, they're all combined together in just 11 months. You just become a different person. So I'm assuming you're looking for a complete wholesome experience from her. That's right. That's right. Yes. All right. That, that's good, actually. Um, so, I mean, from I, you've pretty much given very good advice to people who are looking for a master's. But then apart from that, is there something that you would want to tell students who are applying for a master's? Especially, I mean, since it's COVID, situation is mm -hmm. difficult. Everybody's stuck home. So is there something that comes to mind? Yes, of course. Uh, so uh look so masters is not like bachelors i understood it's it's very uh the of course it depends um which school you're applying to but most international schools most uh well-known schools um they don't really focus on um you know read this book and then just come and you know tell us about what you learned about that book right it's not just uh, about the book wise it's just more more uh, you get more experience um, for instance, and at, at IE, uh, we, we did a lot of group works, right? Uh, a lot of brainstorming, a lot of uh, team building. Uh, you, you, you start to learn how to um, work with people. Working with people is, is just so fundamental right now in today's age, right? To, to quickly understand um, people, to quickly um, being able to work with them yeah. and... Uh, communication wise where it's all about communication so um what i'm telling you telling you guys is that masters um it, it's not easy it's really not easy you really have to put every almost every minute of your life i don't know how much let's say you do a year of masters into that program because um even if you slightly get off uh, uh the road the 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 um how should I say it? Like um, the path you're taking, right? Even if 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 you go a little offside of, from your studies, um, it's very hard to come back and uh, try to um, catch think, up. So yeah. because it just goes fast and fast, it's going forward, and you just have to catch up. That's the only. That's pretty much my advice: is that do not uh, lack behind. 
okay because it's 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 it's, it's going to go forward and and you just can't catch up it's very extremely hard to catch up once you're lacking behind so making connections is very important because when you make connections with friends you know you, you make friends and you do these group works you know there's something you don't know you ask a friend and um they know something that you don't know or maybe you know something they don't know and and it's, it's, it's this whole experience of um, um uh, trying to study together and and you know going through masters uh, together so yeah so networking i believe i networking, mean is the yes. so networking Absolutely. is important. Yeah, i it's think networking with my all masters program i think uh, networking and hard work i think this is one fundamental that does exactly. not deliver. Yes, yes, exactly. All right. Thank you. I mean, I think I pretty much covered everything I had in mind. Um, thank you for your time. Um, thank you. If there's I, anything, I mean. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on HALT again. And I mean, it's a new beginning. I hope you. Yes, it is. It is. Um, the experience really. Um, look, look, uh, look, I encourage everyone to fail in life. Please fail. Failing is good. When you fail, you learn. Uh, when, when you don't fail, you don't learn. You, it just, it's just the, the key is that you get off back up your feet. That's one of the, you, makes you stronger in life, right? And um, I failed big time and I learned so much during that time. It's, it's, it's amazing. So um, getting back up your feet, you know, your chin up, you have to put your chin up and uh, just focus on life and never give up. I mean, that's pretty much the, the key, right? And make connections, connections. And it's very important to um, make good connections, right, in life. So pretty much that's what I can say. <laughs> All right. I think that's uh, pretty good advice. I mean, um, for somebody, I mean, um, in your shoes, they could be miserable and they could, like, lose all sense. But you've, you've done pretty well. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all the motivation and the advice and thank you for your time today also. Thank you very much.